<laughs> we are so happy and glad that you are looking at all our videos. <laughs> okay here are some uh, things that you're going to need to uh, repair a crack typically between the garage and your apron so uh, you're going to need a caulking gun this one product called Sika, which I use, Pro Select. Make sure that when you get multiple tubes, you get the same color. And then uh, we have something called Baccarat. 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 Rod. And then you're going to need some general purpose sand, a cup, so you can pour the uh, sand into the crack in a more efficient manner. You're going to need a broom. You're going to need some protective gloves based on the product that you're using. You're going to need a screwdriver to clean out the, uh, the leaves and the debris in the crack. You're going to need some knee protection. And then you're going to need uh, some, uh, just a, a rag available to you. Don't forget to use uh, safety glasses and or a respirator if you need to. Let's get going. All right, the first step is a screwdriver or something to clean out the uh, gap between the uh, and the crack. Let's get at it. So for cracks, I have some uh, dirt connected to the, uh, the top uh, half inch of concrete. Take some water, stiff broom, 
wire brush and just uh, sweep it away, sweep the dirt out of those cracks and then uh, let the uh, area dry. All right, next we're going to put some uh, sand in a uh, pail so it's easier to uh, scoop out with a cup and pour into the cracks. All right, so before we put in the uh, sand, um, you need to read the instructions of the Seeker Pro Select instructions and the back rod instructions for the minimum depth and maximum depth that you can uh, put this stuff in. Okay, so before we put in the uh, sand and the crack, um, you need to read the instructions for the Baccarat that you have and the instructions for the Sika Pro Select. Fortunately, both products that I'm using recommend putting it in no more than a uh, half inch and no less than a quarter inch. Now the Baccarat comes in different uh, sizes and so you want to measure the gap of your crack and get the appropriate size of the baccarat. Let's put the sand in. Alright, so as you're pouring the sand in, remember you're doing this for a couple of reasons. One, you're uh, filling in the, the gaps. The sand drains water very well if there's any water that gets in there. Two, what happens is the, uh, you want to pack the sand to fill any voids that might be even under the concrete. And uh, you want to pack the sand down. And uh, a big bag like I showed you will take all the uh, volume of these, this crack here. And uh, remember, as you pack the sand down, you want to leave room from a quarter inch to a half an inch, or based on the material and products that you are using. Okay, so I'm compressing the sand down. 
Okay, I'm compressing the sand down and it's working out well. Leaving about a appropriate depth for the background to fit, fit in there. So uh, as you're uh, compacting the sand with your fingers, go and use a uh, something like a file after that, and then uh, press down even farther down. Compress the sand really, really well. And then after that, what you want to do, what you want to do is you want to come back and make sure that you have the appropriate depth to put in the bakra, and then also the uh, self-leveling sika sealer. So now you're ready to put the backer rod into the crack. Just put it in there, stuff it down, and do that all the way down. Now if you have a, a gap crack joint that is wider than the backer rod that you have, all you have to do is twist it really, really well like that. It makes it wider. and push it down into the crack. Let's, let's get at it. So the stuff goes down into the crack very well. Use your fingertips to press. So after that, what I do is I come back and lightly put the broom on top and sweep sand away from the, uh, the 90 degree edges. So the self-leveling sealer has a place to grab and you're ready for the next step. Okay, so the back rod is in there securely. Um, what I'm going to do is a little bit of sand will fall on top of it as you push it down from the sidewall. So I'll sweep it out with the broom. You could all use, still use a uh, shop vac if you wanted to. Um, if you if you wanted to, you could also use a uh, air hose. But if you did that, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, make sure you're wearing eye protection and a respirator. And uh, let's go to the next step. All right, so we're about ready to uh, use this uh, Secret Pro Select self-leveling cement. Uh, before we do, can I remind you, suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, US Classic Muscle Cars and Tom's Aviation. There you will find great content, all different types of muscle cars, airplanes, you name it. So two different YouTube channels. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. Thank you. When you have uh, Baccarat installed, there might be some cracks that you don't need to put it in. Just clear it out as much as you can. And uh, you can then put in the secret product in there at your convenience. Okay, so we're here using the Sika Pro Select self-leveling. So we want to make sure that we have the same color on all of our tubes. We want to cut the top, up at the top for dispersant of the um, product. It's better to cut closer to the tip and see what 
uh, you actually need for flow and then you can always cut off more versus the other way around. Also remember that uh, you are going to have an hour of it being wet and uh, always read the in instructions so if you have uh, something that you know you have a uh, vehicle in your uh, garage where you need to pull out just remember you're going to have to wait for it to uh, set up and go from there um, when I say go from there you know do it upon your own discretion. Anyways, this stuff is great. Let's get to it. Enjoy my uh, other videos on uh, US Classic Muscle Cars and Tom's Aviation. The product is really easy to use. I suggest do not cut the tip too wide because the stuff just flows right out as you squeeze it. And it will continue to flow to a degree when you let go of the uh, handle. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a cool muscle car like a Chevy Chevelle, Nova, Impala, Dodge Demon, check out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. <laughs>